Hey, welcome back. Will from APL. And uh, today we're going to talk about uh, Azurecast uh, playlist. And uh, if you watched the uh, last video on uh, uploading and uh, working with your music files, uh, we set up our music files, if you recall. I'll do a quick recap. All of our uh, music files on our um, on our last playlist were set to uh, default on your playlist. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do is talk a little bit about playlists, what they are, what they do. And in short, your playlists um, tell AzuraCast uh, how to play your music. Okay. And when you first install your or upload your music, there's automatically a default playlist. Okay. And that basically plays your songs on your auto DJ setting, plays them all 24 7. And when we uploaded our songs, you can see here we uploaded and have 65 songs, about 4.2 hours worth of, of music. And it's playing in a general, general rotation. And, uh, well, I'll go in and show you real quick in this, in the general settings. This is your default playlist, okay, a general rotation. And um, uh, we're going to set up a couple of new ones so that you guys have an idea of how and what, how and what they do, okay? So we'll set up a secondary playlist, okay? Um, say we have uh, a couple of different types of music right now we have three uh, folders in our music folders just new folder one two three and uh, we'll have let's say we have different types of music in each folder and uh, let's uh, we'll make a new playlist and uh, we'll, we'll call this uh, uh, just for conversation let's call this uh, uh, we'll maybe call this slow tunes all right and we're going to, again, keep it in general rotation, okay? And the and the weight, we'll keep it, again, at the, the default of three. Your source is a song, song-based playlist. Shuffle. It's just going to randomly, it's going to shuffle the music up. And, um, um, and the description here is a full playlist is shuffled. Then it goes through and shuffles them all again. Um, I prefer shuffle over random. It gives you more, to me anyway, it gives you more, uh, um, and it plays all the songs in the folder. Um, shuffle, sometimes you get a little bit more repetitive music that way. But uh, again, it's something that you can play with and uh, pick at your, at your preference of what feels, what feels good for you. Okay. Um, you can also create playlists for commercials and promos. And I'll show you how to do that here uh, a little bit later. Scheduled in advance, we'll deal with that again later when we get into um, our different kinds of playlists. But for now, we're just going to do a, an additional playlist to our default playlist. So we're going to save this. Okay, so now we have two. We have our default and our slow tunes. All right. And what we're going to do here, we'll go back to our music files. Okay. And as I mentioned... Um, our, default, our new folder three, all of our songs here in this folder are set to play in default. Okay. Now let's assume that all of our songs in our new folder two are, uh, say, they're, man, they're slow music. So we'll take our slow, all of our songs in new folder two. And what we're going to do is instead of sending it to default, we're going to set that to our slow tunes playlist all right so our playlist our, our new folder two is going to play on our slow tunes playlist and our new folder three will go to default which means all of them are going to play if we go back to our playlist all of them are going to play all the time all right and you can see You've got uh, seven and a half hours worth of music here. All right. But what happens is, is and they're going to play equally. Now, that's where we get into your weights. All right. If your, your, your default 
playlist is where you, most of your music is, and that's where you want most of your music to play. You can go into your edit, and on your wait, you want to give uh, your default playlist, you want to give it a little bit higher. Okay, and you can save it. All right, so you give your default playlist a little heavier weight, and your slow tunes a lower low a lower weight of a three, which basically means the songs that these sixty five songs in that folder. Let me go back to music files for a second. Okay, the default playlist here. So these songs in new folder three are default. And these songs that are in this folder are slow tunes as far as your playlist, right? So you go back here to your playlist. Okay, you can see that your slow tunes have a weight of three and your default has a playlist of five, which means that as the auto DJ is playing the music, it's going to pick from this folder a little bit more frequently than these. So these songs are going to get played a little more frequently than these songs. So as it mixes up the music, these songs will play a little more frequently than these songs. And again, to your taste or to your liking, you want your station to play according to how you want it to feel. So again, over time, you may like it a little bit mixed a little bit more or a little bit less. You can adjust those weight ratings Accordingly, you can take that 3 down to a 2 or a 1, or take that 5 up to a 7, 8, 9, 10, to give this playlist a little more weight than the other one. Okay? Now, likewise, let's say you want to play a uh, promo or a commercial. Okay? You would make a new playlist, and let's call this uh, promo. Okay? This playlist, what we're going to do is we're going to play this one. This is going to, this is going to be a, a promo for your club or your business or what have you. And you want to play it, say, every so many minutes. Okay, so we'll put 15 in there. So that means any songs that are in this playlist are going to, whatever's in this playlist is going to play every 15 minutes. Okay, it's going to play once every 15 minutes. So it'll play one song every 15 minutes. So these songs on default and slow tunes are going to play 24-7, and they'll mix back and forth and back and forth. This playlist, whatever songs you have into this playlist, will play only one time, one song or one track every 15 minutes. Okay. So again, you or your music files, you would make a folder here and you would call that promos. And if you had a, um, if you had a, uh, a promo or a commercial or what have you, you would upload it to that directory and you would add it to your playlist and you would select promo and you would hit save. And then anything you upload into that directory, it'll play once every 15 minutes. Okay. Now, likewise, I didn't do anything with folder number one. Okay. Folder number one has one song in it. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is um, uh, we will do go back to playlists. Okay. And I will show you one last kind of play, one kind of different playlist. You have a promo that plays your commercial. You have these two that are mixing 24 7, right? But one plays a little more often than the other. The last kind of playlist that you might want to play around with and try is let's try one called uh, Scheduled. All right. And this one is, I don't know, if you want to have, uh, um, you would play this one uh, again. It would be general rotation because you want to keep all the songs playing that are in this folder. Okay. And again, the songs, you can shuffle the songs that are in that folder. Only now you're going to schedule it. You add a schedule time of 8 o'clock p.m. 
to 10 o'clock p.m. And you can doesn't have to have a start date. You just want to play it on Fridays. Okay. And so this playlist is going to play every Friday night, 8 to 10 p.m. And um, on in that playlist, you can have, I don't know, you can fill a folder full of love songs. Okay. Go back over here to this folder here and call this love songs, right? And you would make that and set that up to play on scheduled. So what will happen now is, is everything in that folder is going to play Friday nights between 8 and 10 p.m. These other two folders are going to play 24-7, mixing back and forth, one a little bit more frequently than the other with this folder playing once every 15 minutes, playing a commercial. You follow me? So now, all of these things, you can mix and match and play with them and, and see how they work for you and uh, see what is, the best, what is the best mix for you. Okay? And uh, when you click on Scheduled View, if you have multiple programs, um, since those two main playlists play all the time, you'll see that this whole gray bar shows that plays 24-7. And then you have one show here scheduled on Fridays from 8 to 10. So if you have scheduled shows on particular days and times, it'll show up on a scheduled view. So you can plan out your whole week with scheduled shows if that's what you want to do as opposed to having live DJs. So there's, there's a lot of ways that you can automate scheduled shows or scheduled programming or put all your music to play 24-7 or you can put them into different categories and mix and match them how you want to play. Um, it just depends on how you feel and what, what works best for you. But as I said, you can't, uh, you can't break it, and it's all about having a good time and having fun with what you're doing. So um, I hope this gives you a little idea of how Playlist works how playlists work and what they're for. It basically tells your automated radio station, your auto DJ, how to play the music the way you want it to play. So I hope this helps and uh, I hope this uh, gets you guys on the right track. So uh, as always, don't, uh, don't hesitate to give me a call and uh, let me know how I can help you make your station better. So uh, thanks and uh, take it easy. Good luck. Have fun.